Okay, so let's do our warm ups and just focus a little bit on that core. So breathe in, exhale tension. Feet parallel to each other with the toes going straight ahead, knees going toward those second toes. So remember, I'll roll in at the top of your thighs. Sitting bones toward the floor, shoulders back and down, ground to the ceiling. Focus on that core activation. And just arms relaxed at your sides. Focus on your ribs. Just bring them around in circles. So nothing else moving, but you much just the ribs. And then after a few circles one way, circle the ribs the other way. Just get that midsection working. And keep that as your focus as we go through our practice. Inhale, arms at shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows down. Stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers toward the floor and the heart toward the ceiling. Push your head back away. Nice little back bend there, lengthening through the spine. Pivot at your hips as you exhale. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward the floor. Spread your toes out. Move your chin around, releasing your neck. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more for that back of the leg stretch. And then bend your knees a little bit and start at the bottom of your spine, winding back to the top. And again, another upper body back bend, stretching your head back, but not crunching, so don't lift the chin too much. And then inhale, back up to the top, release your arms, feel that circulation starting to increase. Spread your toes, reach your crown up, and again, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest, stretch out to the front, shoulders down, and keep those hands behind you this time, clasping the opposite way as you go into your back bend. Exhale on over, and again, just let that spine begin stretching out a little bit more. Spread your toes, reach your hands toward your head, and once more, with the knees slightly bent, ribs up, sitting bones down as you wind toward the top, and again, into a back bend. Shoulders dropping, head and reaching away. Take a moment, breathe in. And then inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment and feel that circulation increase. Side stretches, so bring your arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears, stretch up and lean to the side. No twist on this one, remember. So don't lean that top shoulder forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Reach out through your head and your hands. And push maybe the hips a little bit further to the side. Inhale back to the center, shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front, pull the arms again near your ears, stretch the spine apart, no twist, just reaching to the side. Push the foot down that you're leaning away from as you reach your head and hands out in the other direction. Take a breath, maximize a little bit. And then inhale back to the center, shoulders down as you bring your arms back to your sides. Feel those ribs more open, that side stretch through the spine. Shoulders back and down, and stretch your spine apart for a twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Stretch that spine apart, and exhale truly to the twist. Take a breath, lengthen, and as you exhale, come on over in the twist, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet as you inhale and come back up in the twist. And then lift your heart, shoulders down, elbows back, and into that upper body back bend, always gentle on your low back when you're twisting. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. 
And again, we'll wait for that and then we'll turn the legs and the Take a breath, spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet as you come around the little bit. And just relax into your forward position as much as you want. Arms next to your ears, head pulling toward your legs, maybe a little bit more. And then spreading your toes, weight on both feet as you come all the way down the thumb, a twist, and into the other body back. Take a breath there, shoulders down, elbows down. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, and extend your down. Shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist, fingertips towards the ceiling. Just keep on reaching up through the crown, down with those sitting bones. And then hands, palms out at shoulder level, pivot forward into that halfway parallel to the floor position. And then just drop into ragdoll, let everything hang one more time. Sitting bones up, straighten your knees as much as you want. Pull your hands behind your legs and pull in even deeper if you love it or not. And then again, arms to the front, knees slightly bent, winding your way back slowly to the top. And again, into that pose. Take a moment, feel your core a little bit more warmed up. So let's do that rib thing again, just circling the ribs around. Keep the shoulders above the hips as much as you can. And just feel that midsection moving. And then stop and go the other way, circling the ribs. Feel those core muscles working to do that. And release. Hands to your heart. Look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. And another back bend as you bring the thumbs further back and turn your body. Exhale, follow your hands to your chest. Get it on all the way over. And sliding up under your knees on your shins. Press just gently. Not a lot of connection into the palms, just positioning. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Stretch it out. Exhale, dropping into red dog, and coming all the way to the floor. So come on into our child's pose. Hands, palms up, and forehead down. Take a breath there. Just let your whole body stretch. And then bring your arms out in front. Pivot up. We're going to keep the hands under the shoulders and extend the feet back coming into plank position. So get your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. So if you need to lift the sitting bones a little bit, getting that core really active, supporting that midsection so you're not dropping down through that lower back. Everything stretching straight. Push out through your heels, out through your crown. Remember, if this is too much on your wrists, you can go around to your forearms where you can lower your knees. So take a moment here, letting that core do a lot of work, warming up. Take a moment to breathe, stretch out through the head and the heels. And then push a little bit forward with the shoulders over your fingertips. And then slowly lower yourself to the floor as much as you can. And turn your head to the side, hands, palms up, shoulders down, resting crocodile. Take a moment, just move those wrists around in a circle if you are up on them. Exhale, turn your head to the other side. Again, just relaxing, letting your body just sink into that surface beneath you. Big hip with apart. Turn your face toward the floor and slide the chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down, and bring your fingers under your thighs. Bring your shoulders toward the floor. Slide your feet, reaching back through the base of your toes. And then bring your right leg up, but press both hip bones down onto the floor. 
So keep your fingers under you if that works, or they can be out to the side. That's better for your shoulders. And just raise that foot as far as it wants to go, strengthening your low back. And also this toes the abs a little bit. So just keep reaching it out and up. And then exhale, slowly bring that foot back down. Turn your forehead toward the floor to give a little release to the back of your neck as we get ready to do the other side. So again, palms down with the hands, shoulders toward the floor, slide your chin forward. Reach out through the base of the toes, lift the left leg. Keep the knees straight, keep the base of the toes reaching away, and both hip bones pressing down toward the floor. Shoulders down, chin sliding to the front. If that gets too much, remember you can touch the forehead down instead. Reach out, maybe a little higher. Keep breathing. Maximize or minimize your choice. And then stretching out still through the base of those toes. Bring that leg slowly back down. When it touches, forehead again to the floor. Go ahead and release the arms. Take a moment to breathe. And then clasp your hands under you. Press the hip bones down into your arms. Slide your chin forward again. And shoulders down. Base of the toes reaching away, feet about hip width apart. Keep reaching out and lift both legs together, times you want to go. Remember personal practice. Rest down through the hips, down through the shoulders, out through the chin, out through the base of the toes. Lift those legs as high as they want to go. Take a breath. And then maybe lift them a little higher. Keep breathing. Keep reaching out through the base of the toes. And as you exhale, slowly bring those feet back down. And when they touch, release your arms, touch your forehead toward the floor. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Take a breath and exhale, pushing back in the child's pose. Take a moment and breathe. Tension. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, bring your leg out in front, all the way to the end of the mat, into scat position. Core active, of course, because we're focusing there, and you want always today, especially, but always, be focusing on what's going on there. So ribs toward your spine and up, lengthening the spine, supporting your back. And then keeping that core supporting you, just slowly roll onto your sacrum. Take a moment there, thinking about it. Yeah, and then go onto your lower ribs. And again, think about it. And then onto your shoulder blades. And finally onto your shoulders. And your head down. Take a moment, recline integration as you sink into that surface beneath you. Feel that core, keep it activated. Sitting bones toward your heels, hands, palms, up or down, doesn't matter, at your sides. We're gonna press the low back down as you bend your knees and then bring those heels in right next to your hips, right next to your sitting bones, hip width apart, knees straight up. So remember, roll in at the top of your thighs so that you don't have those knees spreading apart. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. We're going to exhale and push the ribs down, push the whole spine down toward the floor. So the sitting bones are going to go a little bit further toward your heels. And the whole back is pushing back. Feel that contraction through that midsection. And then we're going to slide the sitting bones back, lift the ribs up, and arch from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, the space under your back. So it can be a little or a lot. This is a back straightener again, also turns those abs. So exhale, press it down, sitting bones toward your heels, full spine pressing, feel that contraction. And then inhale and ribs lifting, sitting bones rolling back and getting that space under your back. So as much or as little as you want, remember it's always personal practice. 
This is actually physical therapy for your lower back, so it's good for you. Inhaling, reaching up, and exhaling, pressing down. And just going with your body, and of course, this is a really nice, gentle one to work those abs and to strengthen your back. So anytime that you have a little extra, especially in the morning, this is a really good one to do for a while. But for now, just come back to neutral. Relax your shoulders and slide your legs out. We're going to bring the arms to T position. Bring your palms down and your shoulders connected. Sitting on slightly towards your heels. And then options here, you can either bend your knees or keep them straight as we bring both legs up towards the ceiling. So if you want more, both legs together. If you want less, bend your knees. If you want even less, one leg at a time with the knees bent. And then press your heels towards the ceiling, toes towards your head. Let's see your feet, straighten your knees as much as you can. So kneecaps towards your thighs, tighten the thighs. With the back of your legs as straight as they want to be. So we're going to do some leg work. Yeah, so just slowly lower one leg toward the floor, but just hover it right above the floor. Don't make it go all the way. Press that through the bottoms of both feet, and then inhale and bring that foot back slowly up. Keep the feet hip width apart. Feel your body. And do the other one, heel leading, so still pull, pulling up toward the ceiling as you lower almost, but not quite to the floor. The other leg stays as straight up as you can. And then again, slowly bringing that foot back up. We'll do that one one more time, just separating one foot down, hover above the floor, pressing out. Inhale, bringing it back up. Get ready for the second one. And again, slowly heel leading, coming down, just hovering over the floor, pressing out through the bottom of that foot as well as the one that's up. And again, bringing it back slowly up to the ceiling. Press the back down, press the feet up, keep the feet about hip width apart, keep the hands, palms down, shoulders into the floor. Activate your core, lower only as far with both feet as you can before you feel that arch in your lower back. Press out through the heel, feel it, and then inhale back up. Take a breath, bend your knees, or wrap your arms around, pull the knees towards your heart, give yourself a good stretch through the back of your body, and head to the floor, arms and feet down. Slide the legs out. Take a moment to feel what's going on through that midsection. And again, just relax shoulders and shoulder blades down. Gonna turn the hands, palms up. Now lift the heart, head and heart, shoulders up off the floor, and reach your hands toward your toes. Toes up toward the ceiling. Press the core down. And reach your hands towards your toes. So if your neck starts bothering you, remember, bring your fingertips behind your head and press your head into your hands with the elbows out toward the side. So you don't want to be pulling on your head with the hands. You want the head heavy, pushing down. So you're not working that neck. Otherwise, chest is lifting if you're not bobbing through the neck. Reach those hands a little further towards your toes. Pull those toes back, press the back down. Keep breathing. And then slowly exhale, upper body down. So remember on your own, abs like repetition. So they, yeah, we'd love you to do that multiple times. But of course, <clears throat> we always want a sampler to let you know that there are other things you can do. So once again, just bring your body back to release and relax into the floor, soften your belly, and bring your arms again to T position. 
So once more, turn your palms down, just keep those shoulders connected. Sitting bones towards your heels. And again, you can do one leg at a time, bent, bent up, or both legs bent and up, or straight legs one at a time, or straight legs both together as you press your back down. And bring those feet up again toward the ceiling. So once more, back pressing down, shoulders into the floor, heels pressing out, toes toward your head. We're going to take the right hand over toward the left foot as you lift your chest. So remember, not a lot of stress and strain on that back of the neck. Reach for the foot, maybe go a little further, and then come on back down. And palms toward the floor. Turn the other hand up. We'll reach across to the opposite foot, outside of the foot, coming as close toward your toes as you can or not. Remember, whatever your body is willing to do, reach it up and lower it. So each time, raise your chest, bringing the upper body up and across. And then lowering back down. Chest up, reaching across, and again back down. That gives you a little on the obliques this time. And again, take a moment and breathe. We're going to just lower those legs. So if you had enough, you can bend your knees and do that, or you can keep them straight and use that core for support to lower the feet back to the foot. And again, just take a moment and relax, recline integration. Let your body just sink heavily into the earth, softening your belly as you breathe. And then again, sitting bones towards your heels, bending your knees, draw those heels in right near your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. Roll those thighs so that those knees stay straight up. Don't let them spread apart. Rest your back down. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, core activated, pressing into the surface beneath you. Chest lifted, reach those hands toward your toes, shoulder blades toward the mat, and chest toward the ceiling. Always, you can put your fingertips behind your head, press your head into your fingertips if that neck is bothering you. Take a moment and reach a little further towards your toes. Feel that core working. Let it happen because that's what the abs need to have happen in order to work effectively. And then again, slowly exhale and lower your body, hands and head to the floor. Soften your belly, feel what's going on. And then for our sample, we're going to bring the hands up Fingertips behind your head, elbows out toward the side, shoulder blades toward your waist. We're going to lift up with the heart, lift the head into the hands, and then we're going to rotate and bring that elbow across in the direction of the opposite knee. And then back to the center, elbow out to the side, and then lower the upper body. And again, just relax, feel your body. Lift the heart, head pressing into your fingertips. Just exhaling. Bring that elbow again across in the direction of the opposite knee. And then back to the opposite side or the first side. Head reaching into your hands, lower the body, and release. Hands to T position. And Release those feet out. Take a moment and feel what's going on through your core. A little bit warmer. And don't forget to breathe. And then again, bringing your fingertips behind your head, elbows out to the sides. I'm going to raise the chest, head off the floor, shoulders, shoulder blades, Coming slightly up, shoulder blades still on the floor. And then we're going to bring the right knee up and the left elbow toward the knee. So a bicycle kind of thing. And then release that. Keep the chest up. 
as that foot goes back to the floor. Chest still up, head pressing into your hands. Don't pull on your head. Bring the other knee up and elbow across to it. And release. Chest still up. We're going to do that one one more time. Knee toward the elbow, elbow toward the knee, rotating the upper body, looking toward the side. And releasing. Chest still up, head into your hands. And opposite direction. And again, feel that core working. And release that leg. Chest still up. Bring the upper body down to the floor. Release your hands. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders down. Sitting bones towards your heels. Press the back down. Once again, we're going to put the feet up toward the ceiling. So bring your hands to T position. Keep the palms up this time. Shoulder, shoulder blades go down. And again, one leg at a time or both together. Bent knees are straight. Bring your feet toward the ceiling. Flexing the heels. Toes toward your head. Reach out through the bottoms of your feet. And then turn the palms down, shoulder blades down into the floor. We're going to do a little pendulum. So we're just going to roll the legs over to one side, looking at them. They may not go to the floor, that's okay. It's a twist. Go only as far as your body wants with the shoulders down. And then slowly bring the feet back up, pressing out through the bottoms of your feet. And then pendulum to the other side. And again, just bringing the feet near the floor, hovering, pressing out through the bottoms of the feet, legs as straight as you can, shoulders down. And again, slowly back up. And when the feet get all the way back up, keep the right foot up and lower the left leg toward the floor. We're gonna turn the palms up and do our twist. So we're going to roll all the way to the, what is this, left side, foot to the floor, hands to the floor. Head on the floor, remember, pad if you need to. Bring your foot into your left hand if that works for you with the knees straight. Otherwise, just hold the leg wherever it is. And bring your right arm to the ceiling, palm open. Keep it open toward the ceiling, right at shoulder level, lowering it toward the floor behind you as you look at it. Coming into your twist. So remember, the more you hold your foot and push away, the more the lower back is in the twist. Be gentle if you need to. The more you turn your head and look at that hand, the more your neck is in the twist. As always, be gentle if you need to. And just let the left hand come toward the floor as much as it wants to, letting gravity do the work for that middle back twist, however your body is ready for it. Take a breath. Just relax. Deepen your twist, and of course, on your own, hold the twists longer. But for now, just release your foot, roll back onto your back, foot toward the ceiling, press up through the bottom of the foot, core activated, lowering the leg slowly to the floor. And when it gets down, just relax completely. Feel the twist energy moving through your body, through your spine, up to your Meditative connection in your skull, getting ready for our relaxation. But wait, yeah, we've got to balance the body and twist the other way. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down, bring that left leg up. Press it toward the ceiling, flexing the foot. We're rolling this time all the way to the right side. Head on the floor, hands together, foot all the way down, and then all the way onto your right side. Take your right hand, hold the foot if you can, or your leg wherever it works. Left arm above your shoulder, palm open toward the ceiling as you lower it toward the floor behind you. Remember, gravity is going to pull that into your twist when your body's ready, so just let it go. Exhale. Let the ligaments release, let your hand maybe drop a little further. Turn your head for that neck twist. Push your foot away for that lower back twist. 
maximize or minimize, remember, personal practice, whatever your body needs to do on this side, just let it happen. And notice that one side may be more flexible than the other, just let it happen. Don't force it, just work with your body evenly. Exhaling and relaxing into whatever position you're going to. And when you've had enough twist on this side, just let go of that foot. Bring your body back to the center, foot pressing up toward the ceiling. Right leg extended, core activated, and again, lowering slowly to the floor. And whenever that foot gets all the way down, bring your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, whole body sinking into that surface beneath you, getting ready for our relaxation. So notice what's going on in the middle of your skull as that meditative center is activated. Just focus on releasing any thoughts. Letting them go, remembering it's the top of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. If your body is going, oh, what did we do to my abs? I really, oh, let your body relax too. Let those thoughts drift away. And just let your body grow heavy. Sink it into that surface beneath you. Soften the belly. Abdominals releasing. Toes toward each other just slightly, and then just let them flop wherever they feel comfortable. Let a little roll and spill at the thighs. So those knees stay more or less upright. Shoulders, shoulder blades back, palms up. Exhale, just let your body sink into that surface beneath you, heavy and relaxed. Breathe deep, let your body go. And let thoughts of your body release as well. As they do, remember other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. Let any thoughts go. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts drift away without awareness of their content. And as you breathe deeply, let your body sink. Allow your thoughts to float away. Just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find your peace point within. Fill your body with that peace. Filling your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be in peace. And if that relaxation feels really good today and you've got the time, just keep relaxing as long as you have an opportunity. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, you're just begin drawing energy and awareness back with the breath to the moment to the to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely, getting ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels good today for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.